Hey, good morning. Uh, listen here, y'all. Woo, I was down to the blogs. And um, I was over to the Neighborhood Talks page. And um, they had some stories up there that I just had wanted to discuss with y'all real, real quick. Some little bonnet bites. Some little bonnet bites of information. And just get y'all opinion on it. Okay? Uh, so they say that Kanye West got him a new little gal friend and that they've been floating around together for a while but the story that i saw was that he had unfollowed all the kardashians right he had said bye um you know and people was wondering like you know why would he do that because they've been showing him nothing but love and you know have been very you know just trying to make this appear to be like an amicable situation and i'm not saying that it's not all right but they was bothered that he had unfollowed them and i was sitting back and thinking like what well, what you gonna do do you keep in contact with all your ex exes peoples and family members maybe some of y'all do but i cut it the fuck off okay like if if it's not no you know outside of like the little kids and stuff, you know, so I've had exes who have had children and I have tried in the past to like still keep a relationship with the kids because you've become a part of their life. Now to that, I'm also going to say this, if the kid gets on down the highway and don't want to be bothered with me, then I gladly packs my bags and moves on in another direction. But the initial attempt is to you know try to stay a part of the kid's life but i thought that kanye did the right thing if you don't want to be married to me we're not a couple and i understand that um you know all of the sisters still view him as their their brother-in-law he's the father of kim's children if he just does not want to be a part of that unit and that circle anymore as he's trying to get over Kim, then no, he don't want to see Chloe's pictures popping up and he don't want to see uh, what Courtney got going on and Kim and all uh, and uh, Chris and all this shit. He don't want to see it. And the man should be afforded the uh, amount of time to get on with his life without being reminded of the Kardashian family at every turn. So I didn't see nothing wrong with him unfollowing them. What y'all think? Drop down in the comments below. Then there was another story. Um, I don't know if y'all know the comedian Faison Love. Okay, but Faison Love was uh, getting a lot of backlash because he came out and said, you can't say, you can say the word Nick, you know, Nick. <laughs> but you can't say the word fa fa y'all gonna have to figure those out because I can spell them for you you know you can say N-I-G-G-A but you can't say F-A-G and I was looking at that story and I was and I and I like face on but I was like now what is he talking about child because I'm just trying to understand what what was the overall message behind this interview that he had over on Vlad TV? And, you know, in listening to him, he was saying that no, okay, is a word that, you know, we have taken back and we have utilized it. And, but if somebody comes out and says it, uh, but if somebody, and, and it's okay, but if somebody comes out and says, that, they gotta be a. They get canceled by cancel culture. Okay, phase on. This is what I had gotta say to that. Um, if you not black, you can't say no. Okay, and that's on period. And if you're not a part of the LGBT community and specifically gay, you can't say that. All right. That's not really hard to understand. Now, if I want to go a step further, I think that what you were trying to say, I think, child, I, I, like I said, I was trying to piece it together, but I think what he was trying to say 
was that there are no, okay, let's say you slip up. You slip up. And you not black and you say no. Okay. There are no repercussions for that. There's no action taken for that. But the minute you say something about a gay person that's derogatory, it's instantaneous. I think that's what he was trying to say. I don't know. And But if that was what he was trying to say to that, I'd say this. I think that people are coming to a point in their lives where they are tired of the BS. And everything that bothers them that they feel is derogatory, rude, disrespectful, hurtful, painful. People are speaking up of racist, colorist, sexist, ageist, all the istis. Uh, they are speaking up about it, you know, and, and there was a time that it was behind closed doors and people would express their disdain or discontent about certain things and it would never go anywhere. Well, with social media and people just being more vocal about how they want to be treated, okay, yes, you're going to you're gonna get the backlash. And I think it's coming across the board. I've seen several people who have come out saying, no, you know, and they weren't black. And the people let them have it. And so we're in a transitionary period where if you know that you're not, Cat Williams said it best. I saw something that he said um, here again over on the Neighborhood Talks page. I saw something that he said where he said, if you know you can't say this word because it's going to offend a group of people, somebody in particular, and there's an alternate word that you can say, then you have to make a conscious decision not to say that word. Like, you know the words you're not supposed to say. We're not crazy. We're grown. The majority of us, if you ain't six, where you need to still be scolded about the shit that comes out of your mouth. You know what you're not supposed to say. You know, and, and Cat Williams, he said, now, you know, if you can't say the R word. Because we can't say that word anymore. That's derogatory. We can't say the M word. Because that's derogatory. Times have changed. You have to say little people. Or little person. You can't say, now I grew up saying the M word, okay? So there was a time a few years back where I said it. I didn't know that they, they had had to change the word me. And but, but now that things are more visible, you know what you're not supposed to say. So if you choose to say it, you're going to have to suffer the repercussions of that action. And that includes... Fat and all other ones. Tranny. Because you can't say that either. I, these, are, these are words, and I know from a certain era, we grew up saying all of this. But you can't say them anymore. And, and we're all well aware of what you can't say. And you just got to jump on that bandwagon. So what, what Faison was, was talking about, I like here again, I didn't particularly understand it. And I tried to analyze it. And I think he was saying that there aren't repercussions in his from his point of view when somebody said no but if you say that other one you can't you 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 blackballed you can't even work no more you know and but i i want to say that i feel like that is changing and i think that whenever you come out of your mouth with something that is not right that somebody is going to view as either racist here again all the is or derogatory um, to a specific group or culture or individuals in particular, you're going to suffer the backlash. And I think repercussions are, are coming consistently across the board. That's what I had got to say about that. Um, there was another, uh, I'm looking for the article that, um, that I had just wanted to touch on real, 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 real quick. Uh, what is the uh, what is the damn um thing now, Tammy Roman? Tammy Roman, what is the thing that you were trying to talk about? Cause the people's 
that people have said, this is what I be hating is that, um, may, let me pick something else to talk about. Uh, let me pick, let me just pick something else to talk about. Um, <clears throat> over here on the neck, oh, oh, can y'all see that? I'm over here on the neck, let me see that tall. And I be over on the shave room too. I, and, uh, I got my favorites, you know, Boiler Alert and, um, I be on Hollywood Unlocked. Those the four that I, I can't find it, y'all. But I, that's what I wanted to say about Faison and that's what I had wanted to say about Kanye. It was like, let that man move on. Oh, Jamie Foxx. Boo-boo. Found it on the shade room. Jamie Foxx. Now, this is what I want to say about that and I'm going to make this quick. Jamie Foxx is down in Miami and, um, Somebody, he was uh, at the, at the, in the waters, in the waters, uh, the, the blue waters, and somebody was serving him some drinks, him and the person that he was with, and they took a video, said, we served Jamie Foxx, and to me, I feel like that was a violation, and I want y'all to stop doing that. When you see people out, and they trying to have a good time, and people that are in the public eye, they, they don't necessarily or aren't necessarily giving you consent to film them. And I know you be excited and stuff for seeing the people, but you you can't just decide that you, mm, let me pull this up, cause these Skeeters, these Skeeters is the fool out here. And so I got to, I got to come up here with it, okay? Um, they didn't necessarily give you consent to film them while they out having a good time with their family or their friends or whatever. And you can't just be pulling out your camera filming people because what had happened this particular time you know jamie Foxx was on vacation with a little with a little uh milky milky way okay uh little milk of magnesia uh, you know and the, the people that's what they was concerned with you know and 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 i was wondering i said why you know because i had did a show with paul wall and i had asked paul wall i said why is it that when black women black men get a white woman it's like, ooh, why you couldn't get no black queen? There's so many black women out here. Um, oh, 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 okay, you know, he um he like a little milk with his coffee, you know what I'm saying? Cream with his coffee, you know, or whatever, and we got so much to say about it. But when a black woman, a la Tyra Banks and um, you know, some other ones, uh, Whoopi Goldberg has in the past. I don't know what's happening now, but you know, there have been, uh, is it Serena and Venus? You know, they, they have white, uh, t uh, I think it's uh, Tia Maori. No, no, no. Tamara Maori, right? That has a Caucasian husband. And um, I believe, y'all will correct me, I, I, I think that's the twin that has the Caucasian husband, the one from the real. And how the one whose last name is Housley, Mary, okay, her got a white husband. We then it's like, yes, girl, you pulled him, okay, all right, girl, you did that. It's and it's so and there's so much hypocrisy in that thought process. And I was trying to pick Paul Wall's brain, and he was like, Tammy, I don't know, I can't help you, and I and I can't help myself, but I know what y'all will do. Y'all will drop down in the comments and let me know because why why is it such a big deal that Jamie Foxx has a type, you know? Cause we know he have a type, right? And and it don't include us for the most part. So, but why is that a problem? Cause everybody does have a type. And why is it a big deal that he does like white women? Because, and, and here again, it's not a big deal to me. It may not be a big deal to you who's listening, right? You're like, well, I don't have a problem with it. But some of the comments were very bothered, <laughs> you know? that he was with um this white woman down in miami sipping uh coladas out the pineapples and so i want to know what that's about because here again like when a when a black woman has a white man we we celebrate that but we want the black men to feel beholden to the thought process that you should have a black woman by your side and is it particularly black men with money is that what bothers us because y'all didn't care when yay was with kim them it was like y'all like them as a couple but jamie fox always gets a little backlash because you know he was a katie holmes and he got a little backlash for that too but he always gets a little backlash about the women that he wants to be involved with and he just he likes 
life lane. You know, and that's okay, right? But y'all will drop down in the comments and let me know. And that's all I had. To, I, I had. Did, I did want to come over here and talk about that because I do want to hear y'all comments. I want to know why is that. I want to know what is the reason for that that we do that to black men, but not to black women that go out and get partners of other races. It's more of a big deal for black men when they do it. So I want to know what is that about. I also want to know how y'all feel about the Kanye situation. Can he unfollow them and it not be a public media spectacle? Maybe the man just wants to get on with his life and heal. And and would you do that? Would, wouldn't would you do the same thing? It's like, well, we're not together no more, so I'm getting on down the fucking highway. I don't need to be seeing your shit on social media. We're not together. You know, that, that part there. And um, y'all let me know. And phase on love. How y'all feel about these words? It, 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 was he right, or or is there some truth to what I'm saying? You know what not to say, and that people are making holding you accountable more now than ever. And I and I think they should. I think they should. But y'all let me know. I gotta get out of here. It's 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 hot, and these skeeters. Okay, and I got to go. Um. I'll ask her go. Bye.